Hello and welcome to Montpellier for the fifth edition of the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact. I'm joined here uh, by Alvaro Poro Gonzalez, the Food Policy Commissioner uh, for the city of Barcelona. Firstly, welcome to Montpellier. Uh, have you just arrived? Have you been able to discover a bit the town? Thank you very much. Yes, we arrived yesterday and we've been already yeah, enjoying the, the sessions and also walking around the city, this very nice city. So there's a big focus, obviously, on food systems and food policies. Um, currently, what is the city of Barcelona developing uh, with regards to uh, food policies and how? We are really pushing forward the, the, the food policies in Barcelona, um, based on three, three main ideas. First of all, uh, climate change. There is a very big, important momentum in social and politically uh, around climate change in Barcelona. Right. And we really think that if 25% of the, of the emissions of, uh, of, cli of climate change are based on our food system, we should really tackle that if we want to tackle climate change. Second, health, especially children's health. We really want to work on the, on the how um, all the, all the food uh, dimension of schools, of the educational system, could be a really part of the educational program and really make uh, that children uh, get really uh, proper information and proper uh, education on, on, on their food habits that will last for the rest of their lives. And for the, the third idea will be uh, economic opportunity. We right. think there is a very good economic opportunity in changing our food model especially for the small and medium uh, local producers and small and medium local sellers. We think there is a very important alliance between the, the local sellers we have in our cities. For example, Barcelona, we still have a very amazing network of urban markets, around 40 markets uh, functioning in a daily basis. More or less, it's more than 60 million visits per, per year. Right. Uh, and, and we think there is a very inter interesting alliance between the local uh, small and medium producers and all these small uh, sellers that both are being pushed out by the by the globalized uh, uh, food system. But have the, how have the locals um, have they been receptive to these changes? Yeah, definitely. If you, for example, we've been doing some polls in in Barcelona, and more than ninety percent of population uh, when they are taking their consumer decisions, they, 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 they want local produce, pr products and sustainable products and they really look for them. The thing is sometimes they are not so, so available, so, so, so easy to, to, to find so in, in, with a nice price. So we are trying to, to build up the, the tools, the platforms, so the local producers can directly sell to the lo small local sellers in a way that it, it arrives easier and cheaper to the, to the local consumers, which they are really looking for that and they really want it. So one of the fundamental ideas of the Milan uh, um, Urban Food Policy Pact is of course the fostering the exchange between other cities. Have you had the opportunity to do that thus far? Definitely. We are very basically having a, a lot of uh, contact and very being inspired by Valencia, which is one of the cities, I think, with the, within the Milan Pact that has been of course. Go, going forward. And then also within, the, the, the net, within ba Spain, we have created a network of cities. Uh, it's called Cities for Agroecology. That we, it's, it's been a very intense and fruitful space of, of collaboration. And in the, in the more international level, of course, the Milan Pact, but also spaces like C40, or the special relations we have with a lot of cities in Latin America, which by cultural, language and historical reasons, we have a very fluent relation. You mentioned Valencia, which has already held um, an edition of this Milan Pact. Is it something that Barcelona would envisage doing in the future? Definitely, we, we are, that's definitely part of our plans, maybe hosting an, uh, a gathering in the future, or, and really work with this idea that Valencia already start of uh, uh, sustainable food world capital, which is more than just a gathering, it's like a, maybe a whole year of activities, and especially a culmination of uh, some, uh, the building up of some uh, food urban policies, which is what we are really motivated now to do. Great, thank you very much, Alvaro. Thank you very much. Thank you.